This just may be the most important video you watch in your lifetime. It's about how do we power our planet in the future and the survival of the human race as we know it today. I have created an invention that has the ability to power our entire planet many times over. The invention has the ability to produce 150 to 200 terawatts of continuous power. The amount of electricity this invention can produce is real. Our planet uses 85 million barrels of oil every day. The planet is running out of oil. This video is about the survival of mankind. There are 6 billion people living on our planet today. The real problem is not climate change, it's the ability to power our planet. Climate change is just the effect of using carbon fuels. It's impossible to power our planet through burning natural resources, either carbon or any other resource. We will just use them up to extinction over time. Let's take for example carbon fuels. Experts predict there are 50 years of oil, 100 years of gas, and 150 years of coal remaining. These estimates are real, folks. Not a scare like in the 70s. This time it's real. What's left? Wood, biofuels, sugar, corn, switchgrass, seaweed. We can't grow our way out of this problem. If we want to preserve our way of life and advance the human race in the future, we must find an alternative energy source that has the ability to power our planet permanently. I have created an invention that has the ability to power our entire planet many times over, theoretically forever. I have three simple goals for this video. My first goal is to begin to introduce a new energy invention I have created that has the ability to power our planet many times over, theoretically forever. My second goal is to inform people that the planet is running out of oil. My third and final goal is to elevate the issue of powering our planet through social media around the world. This is the most important goal. It's critical every person under the age of 40 watch this video and demand their government and business leaders not only address this issue, but make it its highest priority in their country. I have sent a small document to the President of the United States, the most important influential man in the world. This project cannot succeed without his leadership. I would like you to take a few minutes to read this document by pausing the video on each page. I think you will find the information interesting and answer many of your questions during the remainder of this video. By now, you have read the document, and you should have a better understanding of this invention. The amount of electricity this invention can produce is real. The invention has the ability to produce 150 to 200 terawatts of continuous power. I have refined this invention for the last two years, until I believe I have eliminated all the naysayers and devil's advocate arguments. Let me talk a little more about the engineering. The engineering is pretty straightforward. If I believed creating a pilot prototype would improve the energy estimates, 
I would do so before releasing this information to the public. The conceptual engineering drawings are complete. All the engineering calculations required to accurately produce the energy projections for this invention have been completed. The power projections have been checked, rechecked, and rechecked again, not just by me, but a couple engineers with extreme math skills. This is not my first rodeo. I have worked on large projects my whole life. I am one of the best in the country at being able to work on out-of-the-box concepts and ideas and bring them to fruition. That's what I have done my whole career. In order to be conservative, I reduced the power projections for this invention by almost 60% to allow for any unknowns and mechanical losses. There's five different ways to implement this technology. I have also completed examples of the power potential of this invention in three real life situations. In order to give you a point of reference, let's compare these examples to the Hoover Dam, which has the potential to generate 2,030 megawatts of power. I picked the Hoover Dam because it's so famous. The first example is the smallest, and it generates 1,000 megawatts of power, which is about half the power of the Hoover Dam. The second example generates 44,000 megawatts of power, which is approximately 20 times the power generation of the Hoover Dam, and twice the size of the largest single energy producing facility. This would be the largest single facility of power generation in the world. The third example generates 162,000 megawatts of power, which is approximately 77 times the power of the Hoover Dam. That's about 13% of the power produced in the United States or China. Over the last two weeks, I've worked on an example that shows the implementation of this invention could create 750,000 megawatts of power in one site. This is not the only example in the world where this invention could be implemented of this size or greater. I want to take a minute to talk to you about what this invention could do for a country. I thought I would use China as an example, even though I could use United States, Europe, and many other countries in the world. I believe China could produce between one to three terawatts of power on a continuous basis, theoretically forever within the next 10 years. This would allow China the, the ability to expand their economy in a totally clean environment, especially if China embraces alternative energy vehicles, such as compressed air, hydrogen, and electric in order to power them on the roads. This only leaves air travel, marine traffic, heavy equipment, plastics, and finally asphalts to depend on oil. That allows China to create all the power internally to meet their needs and would create a clean environment throughout China. I am the first person to praise all the oil companies for powering the planet all through the 20th century. Without their efforts, the world could never have progressed to the advanced societies we are today. I spent 26 years of my life working for an oil company, and I'm extremely proud of my career. It's critical for people to understand the world is running out of carbon resources. Our planet uses 85 million barrels of oil every day. A barrel of oil is 42 gallons. You do the math. That is an enormous amount of oil each and every day. The experts predict oil consumption will climb to 105 million barrels a day in a very short time frame before we reach peak demand. Once peak demand overtakes peak production, the world begins to allocate resources. The arguments about climate change and carbon fuels is ridiculous because soon there will be no more carbon fuels to argue over. So let's be perfectly clear. We are running out of carbon resources and any discussions about carbon fuels being the answer to energy security is a mute point. Currently, 33% of the electricity generated around the world is created from non-carbon sources. Nuclear power makes up 13% of the 33% of the alternative energy produced today. Hydro dams make up about 16% of the remaining 20% of the electricity generated from non-carbon sources around the world. Most of the major places in the world where we can install dams have either already been installed or have future plans to do so. Even though the media has touted wind and solar, they only make up about 3-4% to 4 of the electricity generated around the world. So let's take a look at some of the future alternative energy proposals. We have been attempting cold fusion for the last 40 years with little to no success. Another example of the latest alternative energy proposals is to send up solar panels into the atmosphere and somehow send the electricity back to Earth. 
Again, this might be possible, but it doesn't seem to be realistic for large-scale power generation. And another big issue is, it doesn't create continuous power. I think all these inventors should be praised. I have done a lot of research, and I haven't seen a serious proposal that can generate a mass amount of continuous energy realistically, with the exception of my invention. There are about 1.1 billion people, unemployed, are living in extreme poverty in this world. This is an enormous amount of human capital waste. If you read the document displayed earlier in the video, you would have noticed the implementation plan spanned over a 30 year period. So most people working will not be affected for quite some time. I gave a lot of thought on what I was going to say about the employment possibilities and the huge amount of effort it would take to transition from a carbon society to an alternative energy society. You can imagine all the effort that would be required. I'd like to discuss the opportunities we have to create a world that we would all be proud of. This invention gives us the capability to create cheap and abundant energy throughout the entire planet. My hope is this invention allows countries to reduce human suffering and lift millions and millions of people out of poverty. I believe we could create a dynamic world full of middle class. I've talked with many older Americans that say they're willing to continue working longer even if it's through volunteering if they can make a real difference in their children's and grandchildren's lives. I believe people all across the planet would step up if we had a leader that would create a worldwide project to build a better future for our children. This has been the most difficult segment for me to address. Almost the entire segment is negative because I don't know if the world has the ability to implement this invention. Let's be, let's be clear. If we run out of carbon resources and lose our mobility in this country and throughout the world, the world will collapse and money will be useless anyway. So any argument about what we can afford and what we can't afford is a totally stupid argument. The Western democracies are failing. Not because of the deficits, because of the middle class is disappearing and we are becoming a two-class system, the haves and the have-nots. In the United States, 1-2% to of the people owns 50-60% to of the wealth of this nation and Europe is not far behind. We can blame tax policy, hedge funds, exploitations of cheap labor overseas, tax evasion, corrupt government officials, and many other reasons. But the answer is, how do we reverse this trend? and create a strong middle class, not just in the United States, but all around the world. If we think of our economy as a pie, the Democrats believe we have to divide up the pie. The Republicans want to grow the pie. I have created an invention that has the ability not to grow the pie, but create a pie factory. The invention I created is real, and I would be willing to bet my life on it. We are the first generation to have failed so far create a better world for our kids and grandkids. This world is made up of great nations all around the planet. I've been fortunate enough to have worked or met people from all around the world. I need your help. It's critical this video reach everybody under the age of 40 on the planet. If our generation is unwilling to create a better future for you, then it becomes your responsibility to build your own future. You can start by demanding your country address the issue of powering the planet the leaders of the world will buckle if confronted by a billion voices, demanding we act and act now to address the ability to power our planet in the future. You have a decision. Either continue down the path we're on, which essentially ensures destroying life as we know it, or change it. It's your choice.